Okay, what I want to um, show you here is if you have a bony prominence over the top of the foot, and people often get it here over the instep or they have a high instep and they have a problem that the lacing um, hurts them and then they tend to make their, looses, their laces too loose, but then the foot moves, floats around inside the shoe, then I always say, well, you need to tighten your laces, but it causes discomfort. So you can actually change your lacing. So what you do, you can see here the lacing over the top and it goes in and then if the bony prominence is sort of there, the irritation or here or here above this little loop, you will lace the shoe from the bottom normally. And if there's not a problem with, with like with my other video, then what you do, you just lace the shoe normally. If you look at that there, you take it through that. And then what's important that you put the lace through from the outside in, not from the inside out, how I've done with the others. And then you do here the same from the outside in. Okay. So then you have these two laces. And then what you do, you skip a hole and then you just lace it over there. And that often allows for more space. In the shoe, you can see that there's not enough holes here. So what I would do in this instance um, if there's not enough holes going up, I would already start. I won't loop it through here. And then what you will do, you will actually just put it in there. Over there, like that. So you put it from the outside in. You skip that hole. You can see that hole over there. You'll take it out there. And you take it out of here. Mm. Uh, no, you know what you do. You need to make sure that there's enough holes here. So you actually just take it underneath. So you're not even going to skip a hole. And instead of skipping a hole, it all depends on the laces. So you need to improvise. But we are agile during a pandemic. So it's quite easy. Just improvise. You can see I'm improvising. I'm not going to redo this video. I'm just improvising. So can you see there, I've gone in there, come out there. On the inside, you can see there's that. Just that one centimeter difference will make, and then I'll obviously crisscross it there. Um, I'll finish now my one centimeter sentence. Um, and then you make a heel lock and heel lock. If you do find it more comfortable with a heel lock, cross it over. And I just want to illustrate here to you nearly caught myself sitting right up straight there. Um, if you look here, can you see here now? It's actually, and you can't even, it's not even that noticeable. So here you have it where crisscross, crisscross, and it's basically just over this area here, where usually where the bony prominence is, where you won't have the lacing, and that makes a huge difference. And then you can still tie your laces properly at the top so it's secure around your, that it is secure around your foot, which makes a big difference. The other alternative here, if it is bigger, as I said to you, you just improvise. You actually can also, I've done this before in bad cases, um, where you do skip this hole, you cross it over like that, turn it into a heel lock and turn it into a heel lock. It all depends on what activity is gonna be do, done in these shoes, how much it, and what feels secure around your foot. And then you just heel lock it there and heel lock it there. And look now, you've got a shoe with this huge gap there. But it also all depends on the side of the shoe, how many holes it's going to have. But that is just what you do where you can change the lacing to accommodate that bony prominence or to just give more space for a very high instep. And then one can go from there.